Uh, well, that's a good question, and I think uh, the real aim of this innovation is pretty much um, to provide a more accurate estimate or granular insights on um, visitation number in a given vicinity. So I guess in simpler term, the innovation really estimates foot traffic or how many people actually walk through an area by actually passively tracking the presence of their smart devices, and this could be mobile devices or laptop. But these are all done in a de-identified way, so it provides uh, a lot more granular insights into who is visiting um, your vicinity and how many people are visiting in the vicinity. And so, I guess to really address who will it be, um, who will it be available to, or um, who will find it useful, is that I think any um, anyone or any businesses that have a physical um, uh, retail footprint um, and People that organize events um, that may welcome visitors um, in their vicinities, so on and so forth. So, to give you a few examples, this will be tourism destination or tourism um, operators, um, retailers such as shopping centers, um, government agency and public space operators, so on and so forth. Um, so one of the unique attributes of our solution is that um, it addresses a lot of the limitation of existing solution. So to give you some examples, um, to count uh, how many people are within a vicinity, normally people or businesses will use hand tally counters, but they may be inaccurate because of human error. Um, some businesses use infrared counters, um, however, they may double count an individual if um, that individual walk back and forth um, on the sensor. Um, and some other government agencies or events might be estimating um, uh, foot traffic by using historical data. Um, but we know that they are limited because of data inconsistencies and missing data and a whole lot of data issues that may arise. And so our solution comes in um, as a uh, ICT innovation that actually tracks um, the presence of smart devices. So we won't be double counting people. Um, there is no um, human error there. Um, and so it actually provides a more accurate and probably uh, more reliable estimates of um, basically the foot traffic or um, the visitation numbers within a given vicinity. The solution allows us to not only just count the number of um, visitors, but also looking at their behavioral patterns. So as you say, um, we can actually look into um, the loyalty. So how many times did they revisit a particular place? Um, how long do they actually spend in a particular area in a particular vicinity? So we can even say, for instance, in a retail setting, um, we know exactly how long do they actually spend in front of one of the shelf. And um, from uh, looking at other um, results or other data, we could actually infer um, what are the uh, products or um, things that they're actually looking at, what interests them, what engages them, and also um, how many times do they come back and revisit or re-engage with a particular um, uh, product or brand. So we actually leverage on um, Cisco's Meraki technology. So we developed the solution with Cisco Innovation Central and, um, and an intern or summer intern from Cisco Innovation Central, um, whereby um, this technology actually allows a wireless modem to passively pin smart devices um, with wireless or Bluetooth capability in the background. And what this means is that um, the wireless modem will actually send a signal to um, alert a smart devices within the vicinity and um, to record the presence of these smart devices in a very de-identified way. So um, we don't know exactly who owns the smart device. We only know the unique ID of the smart device. And by tracking that smart devices and how long um, it actually spent or dwell um, in a particular vicinity, we know um, how long they spent in that particular area and uh, how many times they come back um, let's say in a week time or in a month time or even in a year time. And so we can actually track um, these smart devices, not only by whether be they being there, but also um, their behavior um, and so on and so forth. I think um, uh, knowing an accurate visitation number or visitation pattern, um, which um, this solution or our solution allows um, this to be done, um, can really have significant impact, um, not only for businesses, but for governments. Um, it may generate insights and data that help stakeholders to optimize the decision making um, on a wide range of different issues, um, ranging from city planning to event or destination management um, to staffing um, based on peak time or trough time, uh, marketing of places and even security. 
So if we really know um, when do our visitor actually comes on, we can literally um, uh, optimize our human resources. So how many staff should we be putting on? If we know exactly where people are going or where people are dwelling, um, this will uh, provide some uh, solution or use cases um, in the security uh, avenue and probably event and destination management, whereby we need to probably uh, manage the foot traffic, where they're going, um, where exactly should we be putting signages, so on and so forth. So um, currently we have been working with City of Fremantle um, and Cisco Innovation Central with Curtin University. Um, and basically what we have been doing is um, we have trialed um, our solution with the City of Fremantle and a lot of retailers within um, the City of Fremantle, including Fremantle Market, Fremantle Boat Harbor, um, Fremantle Prison, a, the National Hotel, and even Notre Dame University within um, Fremantle. And what we could actually do is we have actually provided um, a lot more knowledge and understanding of the total number of people who really utilize these facilities and um, their behavioral pattern. So um, what we have done is we have actually allowed um, City of Fremantle or helped City of Fremantle to predict um, the level of visitation um, uh, on hourly basis and even um, uh, breaking down to weekday weekends and even looking at whether events have a very big impact on the visitation with that council. Um, however, uh, what we are looking um, to do is um, we want to expand this capability and obviously um, currently we can um, look at uh, visitation counts and visitation pattern. However, as um, the technology or the solution will actually track people from uh, in, in a de-identified way, we are not able to actually look at the type of visitors. However, um, by actually um, implementing or rolling this um, solution out into, let's say, different location, and by actually uh, looking at, let's say, the patterns of behaviors or visitation behaviors within different um, vicinity, not just Fremantle itself, um, but maybe um, the Perth city um, and other areas, we can start to actually use um, or develop an algorithm to actually predict um, what type of visitors they are. Are they a interstate um, uh, travelers, interstate travelers or international visitors? Um, and, or they could even be um, people who are metropolitan visitors. Um, so they might be a Perth based visitor that is visiting a specific regional area, so on and so forth. And so what we are looking into is um, getting a lot more um, businesses or government council to be interested in rolling this out, not only to understand visitation numbers and patterns, but also to help us um, uh, further develop this solution into a much more um, predictive uh, solution whereby we can actually uh, have an accurate predictive analysis on the type of visitors and um, probably even um, the type of uh, uh, visitation pattern that actually predicts um, uh, uh, the kind of visitors that are within that vicinities.